My name is Arnold Beverly. I'm here to depose to the foregoing, and I'm willing to depose at any time in any courtroom in the law. I, Arnold Beverly, say that the following facts are true and correct. I was present when Officer Daniel Faulkner was shot and killed in the early morning hours of December 9, 1981 near the corner of 13th and Locust Street. I have personal knowledge that Mumia Abu-Jamal did not shoot Officer Daniel Faulkner. In fact, I was hired, along with another guy, and paid to shoot and kill Officer Daniel Faulkner. I had heard that Faulkner was a problem for the mob and the corrupt policeman because he interfered with the graft and the payoff made to allow illegal activities, including prostitution, gambling, drugs. Without prosecution in the Center City area. Faulkner was shot once in the back, then in the face, before Jamal came onto the scene. Again, Jamal had nothing to do with the shooting of Officer Faulkner. Before the shooting, I was given a picture. I was given a picture of Faulkner. I was told that he would be around Locust Street to check something out at Johnny D's bar in the early morning hours of December 9th. Two of us were hired for the shooting so that either of us could take the opportunity to make the hit, get the job done, and leave. The other guy gave me a 38 caliber policeman special. I also was carrying my own 22 caliber revolver. I was waiting at the speed line entrance, northeast corner of 13th and Locust Streets at the parking lot. I was wearing a green camouflage jacket. The other guy was at the south side of Locust Street east of 13th Street near Kamak. While I was waiting at the speed line for Faulkner to arrive on the location, I saw police officers in the area. Two undercover policemen were standing on the west side of 13th Street. Also a uniform officer was sitting in a car at the parking lot. They were there while the shooting of Faulkner took place. I was not worried about the police there, since I believed that since I was hired by the mob to shoot and kill Faulkner, any police officer that was there were there to help me and protect me. After a while, I saw Faulkner get out of a small police car behind a VW parked on Locust Street, east of 13th. Faulkner was alone. He got out of the police car and went up to VW. I heard a shot ring out from east on Locust Street. Faulkner fell to one knee on the, on the sidewalk next to the VW. I heard another shot and it must have grazed my left shoulder. I felt something on my left shoulder. I, I grabbed at my shoulder and got blood on my hands. I ran across the street, stood over top of Faulkner, and shot him in the face at close range. Jamal was shot shortly after that by a uniformed police officer who arrived on the scene. Cop cars came from all directions. Foot patrol also arrived. I saw a white shirt, brass, getting out of a car in the middle of 13th Street, just as I was going down the speed line steps. I left the area underground through the speed line system and by prearrangement a police officer who assisted me when I exited the speed line underground about one block away a car was waiting for me and I left the center city area. 